Okay. Hey, how's it going out there? I'm Veggie Rose. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It looks like this and the little notification bell so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious veggie lasagna and I'm super excited because this is one of those recipes that I wasn't even recipe building for a video I just made this like just out of nowhere because I didn't know what to make for my uh, four-year-old's birthday party and I was like what should I make that non-vegans would really enjoy and I was like lasagna but then I had so much other stuff to do that I didn't even think about a recipe I was just kind of like threw everything together it came out delicious so I had to recreate it and share it with you guys anyways let's get veggie okay Let's get started. So, first into our handy dandy pan here, which is set to a medium heat. I'm gonna add in about three tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. All right, into our pot here, I'm gonna be adding half an onion and half a green bell pepper. And this is chopped up, of course, and you can do any uh, bell pepper you like. I'm doing green because that's what I have on hand. I'm also gonna be adding in our carrot. We have one carrot and you might see some eggplant falling in there because everything's kind of mixed next to each other, but it's okay. And we're just gonna cook this until the uh, onions uh, and the peppers become tender and I like to salt and pepper um, my layers like this in between so we're just adding a bit of salt and pepper so my onions are nice and translucent and we're gonna add the rest of our veggies I have one small eggplant cubed that's going in we also have one yellow squash and a green zucchini, a green zucchini, a green squash zucchini. <laughs> Next, we're adding in two 28 ounce uh, cans of crushed tomatoes. And then we're just going to mix everything up really good. Now we're gonna add our spices and seasoning. And this is, in here we have one tablespoon of dry basil, two tablespoons of dried parsley, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and a pinch of chili pepper flakes. And then you can do some salt and pepper to taste. And I almost completely forgot that we're also adding in half a cup of vegetable broth into our sauce. The link to the full recipe will be down below. So I just gave it a quick taste and I decided to add another two uh, teaspoons of garlic powder and onion powder and then one uh, table, or, I'm sorry, teaspoon of paprika. So I just crank this up to high and once it starts to bubble and boil, we're going to put it down to a medium low and we're going to cover this up and cook for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, so let's move on to our uh, bechamel sauce. So this is the bechamel sauce. This is our sort of like creamy base, what you would use like in, if you, you, you were doing cheese or something like that. I know my butter has a little piece, a little piece of uh, vegetable, no big deal. And I think one of you guys actually suggested I do the bechamel with the lasagna. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, I think it might have been Gia's for Gary. Shout out to Gia's for Gary. Um, and uh, if it wasn't Gary and it was someone else and you remember it was you, let me know. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and add in a fourth of a cup of uh, non-dairy butter. And then we're going to toss in a fourth of a cup of uh, flour. And you're going to whisk, whisk that up all together. And we're going to allow our flour mixture to sort of like cook that flour taste off 
for about two minutes. You just want to make sure you stir it around so it doesn't like stick or burn. Well, it won't stick here because it's ceramic, but you want to make sure it doesn't burn on you. All right, and now we're going to add in slowly two cups of unsweetened almond milk. And I'm slowly adding it in, and every time that that little bit of milk that I just added in incorporates, then I add a little bit more because if you toss it all in at one time, then your, um, your bechamel will clump up. All right, so we're gonna cook that for about two minutes and we're adding in our uh, seasoning and we're doing two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, also half a teaspoon of onion powder. We're also doing some salt and pepper. So my camera completely flaked out on me there. And I keep saying I'm gonna get a new camera, but next month, I promise you guys, I promise you guys, I'm gonna get a new camera next month. So we'll have two cameras to work with, and if one messes up, then we'll have the backup. So I just tossed in 10 ounces of frozen spinach, and I got the package, and I know it looks all crazy because when you get the package, your spinach, once you thaw it, it's all wet. So you squeeze the package into your sink or whatever, and then you get as much of that liquid out and then I just put it into my um, bechamel sauce. And uh, once the bechamel sauce had thickened up a bit, our sauce is ready and we're gonna start assembling this deliciousness. All right, so just pour some of your sauce onto the bottom of your pan. You don't have to go too crazy on this bottom layer. You're just putting this on there just to kind of uh, prevent sticking and add a little extra moisture. Then we, we're adding our lasagna noodles. And as you'll be able to see, I didn't realize when I bought this box of lasagna noodles, um, these are all broken up. But that's not gonna make our delicious uh, lasagna taste any different. All right, so we're just placing these uh, little broken up lasagna pieces all the way across this way. And I'm just filling in any spots. I'm gonna add another layer on top of this. And this is another layer of sauce. And as you can see, I'm actually using the oven ready noodles. Now we're gonna add our bechamel sauce. And I, I'm telling you guys, every time I say bechamel sauce, I feel like Martha Stewart because she says it all the time. But she says it and she sounds so fancy. Now we're gonna go ahead and spread the bechamel sauce. And look at that, I found another box of uh, lasagna noodles. All right, so we're gonna put these across and just overlaying like the other ones, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna add more sauce. And then we're gonna add some more bechamel sauce. And as you can see, this is thickened up really good. And you thought I was gonna stop here, didn't you? But we're not. We're gonna add yet another layer. Hmm. Now just cover it with aluminum foil, place it into the oven 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So we've taken the lasagna out of the oven and once the 30 minutes were up in the oven, we took off the aluminum foil and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Uh, and then this is what it looks like once it's out. It's time for the taste test cam. And I was trying to make sure that I showed you the layers in the picture and all that stuff, but I wasn't able to contain myself because I just wanted to dig into it already. So. Um, if you let it cool, cool down for longer, it'll come out a lot more, like you'll see the layers um, when you cut it. But I couldn't wait and I'm just going in. Oh, quick tip also, um, you wanna make sure that you follow the instructions on your um, pasta box uh, to determine how long you have to bake it for, especially if it's the oven ready stuff. All right, here we go. You guys definitely have to try this recipe out. 
You guys definitely have to try this recipe out. The bechamel sauce doesn't let you miss a bit of cheese in this. You could also sprinkle some cheese on top of it, some non-dairy cheese on top of it right before you toss it into the oven. I've done it uh, before and it turns out really good. I like to use like the Daya block cheese to, spread, to shred on top, um, but without it, it still tastes amazing. Oh, mm. So that's it you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video so that other people can see how delicious vegan food can be. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. I would love to see what you made and I would love to know what you think about it. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon, bye.